Any three passes forms a triangle. This is stuff that only Sunday League coaches would coach. So amateurish. Sunday League coaches like this guy. What an absolute clown teaching his players to form triangles. Another one, an absolute clown. How is this guy making his entire tactics about forming triangles on the pitch? Absolutely ridiculous, Sunday League stuff. Well, in reality, you just exposed yourself as being naive and ignorant to the concept of how we use geometry in soccer. Now, here's the thing. Is it true that there are still triangles to be found in such a formation such as the 442? Yes, there are. However, the shape of the triangles matters. I want you to notice something. You have a square pass and a directly forward pass. This is not ideal, but also not all three players make a triangle because the five to the six to the 10, that's a straight line. And Johan Cruyff famously did not like the 442 for this reason. And he stated it was because it made the triangles disappear. Now, we can make up for this with a different style of formation of the 442, or what some people might call a 4312, which we have a classic number 10 in the middle. Now we have better triangles throughout the pitch, which gives us a better shape. However, Cruyff did prefer the 4-3-3 for a reason, because in the 4-3-3, it really doesn't matter who has the ball at any point on the field. There are clear triangles for them to pass to on the left and the right in every single position. Even the center forward has those options, be it at angles. They would be playing as a pivot from here. But at the end of the day, even if this was an incredibly basic and simple topic, which you understand and think everyone should already understand, some people don't, and they would like to learn from it. So ridiculing people for teaching basic concepts just makes you kind of sound silly. But even then, it's very clear you don't really understand it yourself. So maybe you could help yourself out and just try to learn some new things.